I think it was the first time I've let my hair like out and curly in a video. No, our first episode, it was in your face. You were full emo. Right. And you got a lot of... What else did we... We did My Hero, too. A lot of people were like, Sam's hair looks good. Really? Mm-hmm. Aw, thank you, guys. Yeah. Hey, everybody. I'm Adam. I'm Sam. And we are... Working title. I really wish my knuckles could do how no. Jason does it. Mm, it is so no. cool. My neck can do it. I wish my knuckles would do it. He's like breaking his fingers Did when you just he does it. Crack your neck. Yeah. I can't do it again. Guys, we're back with Tokyo Ghoul. This is episode so seven. seven. Captivity. Captivity. Probably the mother, because last on she got surrounded by the police straight from the underground, including Modo, Mado, Mado, and, and Amon. Amon. We also saw Jason unmasked, mm -hmm. no longer Voorhees. I'm trying to think what else happened. And we're coming to terms with having human friends. friends. So, make sure you like, subscribe to the channel if you've not already done so, so you can stick around for more Tokyo Ghoul. You can get Season 2 exclusively on Patreon right now when you're seeing this over on YouTube because Patreon gang who's watched this right now has already been watching Season 1. You're behind. Get on it right now. We're going to punch it. Love you. Bye! Spoilers in the description. I'm looking. I'm closing my eyes. I said I'm looking. I'm looking. <laughs> I'm closing my eyes. I thought... Oh, well, he was there, so... Okay. That's good. Main character plot armor, go kill the bad guys, go! Even cars can't destroy you. Oh no, they're deflated. Oh. Why is the cool one not function? There's a lot of that. There's a lot of goals that still try to maintain onto their sanity. Oh my gosh, it just captures, becomes a different weapon this time. All Ammo did was pull out his weapon. He was like, you've done enough. There's definitely something. Oh! He stole the dad! That's dad's, right? Yeah. It was a scorpion too! Almost, almost. He's like, damn it. <clears throat> no. Fuck you. Oh. Oh. It's a good day for rain. Yeah. Yeah. What the hell? And then he shielded her eyes. Dude, I was so excited thinking the episode's called Captivity because the mom's gonna survive. And I was just thinking to myself, at least there's a at least there's a mom present in shows that isn't dead for once. It's like a parental <laughs> figure that's like good. Come on, anime. What's your problem with parenting? What is Japanese culture that parents can't exist in people's lives? I gotta go over there and figure out what the hell's going on. Dude, I literally wanted to Damn. tell you. Like, today, I was really thinking, Jeez. like, just, like, explaining... I was imagining, like, explaining anime to my family. Shit. Like, my mom and dad's, like, actual family. And I was just, like... People, children think, with horrible parental problems. <laughs> but I was just like, just thinking of like trying to explain anime to them, I was like, man, I really want to go to Japan. Man, I like Japanese culture. And old school culture too. Mm -hmm. That's what's really cool too, is there's like a huge modern section and then an extremely traditional section, which is really unique. I told you, Nick has a cousin who's uh, a lawyer in the military. Yeah. And he was stationed in Japan. The town he was in, their landscape, their bushes were shaped like Sonic and Mario. Yeah, yeah, they have, well that's, I love, remember how I always say, I don't know if I, you heard this, but I like themed restaurants. Yeah. Rainforest cafe style. Yeah. Japan has a lot of that. Mm-hmm. 
I even looked up at the head of Eva, and they're like, it's, it was closed. I was like, Dude, damn, dang. I'm, I'm, they ain't gotta have Pokemon out the ass. Hinami yes. calls her big sister. Anime Hinami has him, Toka. Anime. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Dude, and the dad died too. There's yeah. no parents. I just forgot that too. That's the biggest thing in anime is your dad. More right. It's not good. Was it kill one head and two were the Hydra? I love you, Yashimaru. Right? Is that his, that's his yeah. name? Yeah, Yashimaru. Yeah. He's sweet. I don't have a good feeling about these two. Why are these nobody's getting screen time? You've seen the show. If that means anything, it's because they're going to get horribly murdered in typical fashion for a red shirt. And they're under a bridge. Is that bad luck? There's a dark area and nobody can see. Oh boy. It's your fault, Adam. It's your fault. Yeah. We're gonna see it slide. That's on you. Oh, nope. Oh, no. Vigilanteism and ghouls. Oh. oh. I couldn't tell what the hell. Amon. The, I don't recognize the hair. Oh. Oh. I got right. Yeah. Don't ever back down. Oh Music. Oh man, he's wild. Yeah, oh, point I, point that might crazy. be my favorite. Yeah, the I don't dead. like that. Well, even knowing that it was a copyright before yeah. that. I told you that he steals the ball. Oh, right. oh gosh. Oh gosh. Uh, pop get, off. Get baited. Pop off. Okay, you got both sides on. Whoa. Use it. Oh. Oh, it's it's missing everything. Come on. This is the most silent fight ever. I was about to say that. You need to learn from Mike Tyson. Damn. Come on. Don't let him see your, your thrusts. This is like some Hunchback of Notre Dame music! Is that what that really sounds like? <laughs> it's immediately where I'm freaking out! She just fucked us all. But Alfred ain't gonna die over you, Toka. You can call me half ass. Oh. 
But I'll assist in any way I can. Oh shit. You're going in deep, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy the, the sweet life now while you can. Oh. No, because Adam cursed him by saying, What are these guys getting doing? <laughs> doing getting screen time. Is there fucking no. Oh, come on, Crunchy Roll. The fuck? You failed this city! You've been doing good this whole time, Crunchyroll. What's going on? I keep doing it. Ikagi! Eat the shit out of that meal. Yeah! Another! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> what a nice guy. That's fine. <laughs> She's going in. Okay, so they know they are. Shoot. They. What? Oh, oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> How weird. The duality of this guy versus Amon. What is Savage Snail 5? Is that the girl, Toga? Yeah. Oh, no, he's trying no, to figure it out. No, that's the number they have for Hinami. Oh, okay, for the girl. Okay, yeah, yeah. He's just, trying, he's just trying to piece together what we should already know. Oh, no, boy. <laughs> oh boy. Oh my. Yes, so yes, yes, yes. Rabbit. Ah. Poor thing. Dude, look how much he's. He's yoked! He's yoked! Jeez. If only it was that easy. <laughs> yeah! And that's the episode. Oh, it's creepy! Jojo. Oh, 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 Taro's is back. What? Buddha? Something. Yeah, <laughs> Mr. Uta. Wait for a second, Mr. Uta. Step back. Oh, man. Oh, man. That was episode seven. Captivity. So, where was the captivity part of this episode? I just saw a lot of death. Yeah. A lot of trauma occur on both sides. That was pretty cool, though. To see a bit of depth to the CCG. Uh, some depth to our ghoul gang. It's a bit weird that our, like, heroes are on the ghoul side. And one of them's, like, slaughtering. A Mato? <laughs> no, uh, Toka. Toka. I mean, right now, Toka and Mato are both, uh, like, kind of going outside the boundaries and doing some crazy acts, which makes them look more vigilante from the group that they're associated with. And then you got, like, the heroes on the other side, like, Kaneki and Amon, Amon. who, that's a cool, like, duality that we got to see today. Mm -hmm. Like, the good and bad of both teams. Yep. Because we got Psycho Mondo, 
who's like I don't know what the rules are when it comes to ghouls is it a normal thing to just assassinate the mother which is how he started the episode today she just got completely butchered is that like what we go for do we try to capture and convert like I don't know what the process is is there a way to even like has the CCG tried to is it just complete no no F's given and we just annihilate there's no prison for the ghouls I don't know how this works if uh if a kagune is very important to a ghoul and a ghoul's life, and they are taking the kagune, right. can a ghoul live without a kagune? I don't know. I don't know. What are the human? Are there human rights for the ghouls, or species? If there's rights? a whole organization to hunt them down, I don't know what the first C is, but it's like something counter ghoul. Yeah. What is called? There's a whole organization that just butchers them. Yeah. But funny enough, I like Amon. Amon's a good guy. Oh, Amon. Whatever his name is. Yeah, I... I like him too. I can get him completely. I mean, the ghoul... It's tricky because ghouls seem very sinister in their design. But also, you're... Like, not everyone apparently seems to be evil because you got Kaneki who's doing his best to try to maintain his humanity. Yashimaru. You got, yep, Yashimaru. Is it Yashimaru? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mr. Alfred, who's like, at least seems relatively level-headed. They've they've got a good strategy going on to try to maintain a normal seed of their life to maintain to the human aspects of them because they don't want to, like, allow... Just because they have more temptations now in life doesn't mean that now they have to cater to the temptations because they are now biologically supposed to do those things. So that's commendable. It's also commendable to have people like Amon who's, you know, going into it. He's going into it for the same reason Toka's going into it. Toka went in and did all the whole vigilante thing because she doesn't like that ghouls who try to not be ghoulish still get murdered. Um, which I get that like that, yeah. that makes sense yeah how you're going about it and taking out the wrong people per se is a little bit iffy like I'd say go kill Mondo maybe not the random dude that held a gun up doing his job because he's 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 blind just like you're blind and then you got people like Amon who same thing like he's also now encouraged because he doesn't think his little buddy was worth like he didn't Dying. deserve to die. If, any, his job. if anything, it should be somebody else. I don't know. I don't know if he personally thinks Mondo should get that kind of punishment. Mado. Mado. There's no that. No that. Okay. M A D O. That's gonna be hard. It's okay. Hey, I love that somebody pointed out on Mando. Discord that all the descriptions I put for this, I say Sam keeps mixing up vampires, ghoul, <laughs> demons, and curses. It will forever continue. Yeah. I will not be surprised if we get into Demon Slayer season three and I start to call them ghouls. <clears throat> I think Shinigami is the only one that's easy yeah. to separate. Because it's a big it's word. Of, yeah, I was gonna say it's it's a lot of chunks. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So that was a fun aspect of the show. I'm actually kind of hyped for Mon. For Mon, he's swole as hell. So is Kaneki. Damn. Yeah. They make it look so easy. They go mm-hmm. pump some iron. It's just like, sure. Now yeah. we got it. Yep. It's them skinny jeans. Um. Trying to think what else we... Yes, I can't believe they, they just butchered them on. That was so Ryoko. disappointing to start Rest in peace. Come on, dude. And on top of the dad, too, that died in the previous episode. I mean, this girl... I, I don't even know if she's understood the weight of it yet. She's right. kind of just been separated, so that's going to be a, a rude awakening. I'm kind of scared of what's going to happen with her because she might just let loose on the ghoul and use her uh, kagune. Who knows? Mm-hmm. Maybe rage intensifies a ghoul's response when it comes to like binge eating or whatever they might whatever group they might cater and become to um also just on the Quinn case kind of goes hand in hand with the post talk from previous about like absorbing or stealing that kind of power you nailed it I think I did Mm -hmm. uh as far as as far as I'm aware that was totally the dad's yeah. Kagune. Yeah. And it was very Scorpion like. And even more so, what was the one thing he said that I actually want to talk about? I have to remember. Um, I mean, once again, the parallels of like you do need it in order to fight. Otherwise, it's extremely hard. Props to Amon for still trying to fight even though he didn't have his because mm-hmm. he's a G. Um, 
there is a bit of background uh, setup that's happening in the show with, uh, you know, the plot in District 11. There's stuff going on. There's apparently a movement rising, and Jason's either a part of it or leading it. It looks like the CCG has also been laying low, and in response, other groups from the Shadow Districts, from the Ghoul Society, have also been repeating that and, like, paralleling that. So their plan is to go full-fledged war attack or something along those lines some noise. to bring out probably the warlords of these groups, like a Jason type or a Rize type, to try to kill them while they can and let the, the, the rest scatter to the winds. <clears throat> Your comment earlier about um, how the CCG works, like they just killed the mom... I mean, we right. saw that with the dad. Right. They were look, they were looking for Jason in the first place, and then they were just like, "Oh, there's a ghoul there. I just kill him." Yeah, get it done while it's easy yeah. access. Yeah, I think they're just heartless dudes. They are, they, or just a lack of understanding. Yeah, La- or care for that matter. They especially, don't care enough. Especially like, are you starting to see why Caleb said the racist cop? Well, sure. Ma- sure. Motto is just like uh, like how how he responded at the beginning of this episode when he was right. like, "It makes me sick that you try to act you imitate human." Uh, is there a term for that? It's like specious. Yeah. S- specious. Mm-hmm. You don't like like I hate slugs. I guess it's mm-hmm. specious of me because if I saw a slug Sharks. and I had salt, yeah. then I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Maybe my, <laughs> maybe a little me would because I was a little bit more devious then, but uh. I kill spiders the second I see them. Dog, oh, come on! They're they're good for the house. They eat other you know. critters. You're in my house. In. Man. This is my. But house. it's like they're they're get like you give them free rent, but they also eat the insects yeah, for, but then they as a job for you. Bite me? No, no. They'll they'll keep their business because they mm. want to keep eating for free and have a warm well. place to be. Um. See, not specious anymore. <laughs> uh. Yeah, but. I don't know the past with of ghoul society. Not to say that they deserve what's coming to them. I would say maybe some do if they're like Rize or Jason. But when you got people like Kaneki, no, like no. But I wonder. Yashimaru. I guess they just haven't had enough one on ones with ghouls to understand them. We just to them it's like humanity, humans. We're at the top of the food chain, you know. Sure. There's nothing really threatening us above it. In this world, there is a threat, and that, that's ghouls. Sure. So, eliminate it. You know, like, mm-hmm. whenever there's a... Look at, look at uh, like, uh, any diseases that have popped up that are really, like, what are a threat to humanity. We try to eliminate it. And when we hit singularity with AI and robots, we're going to have to have an uprising against yeah. uh, all our right, fellow computers. We're going to have to attack the camera if it starts transforming on me and trying to kill us. The show that... Reaction channel's over. At that Skynet, point. get out of here. The the YouTube world creates an AI of working title, and you just have to fight the working title robot. Oh my god! It just steals all the views. It's not gonna be. It's just gonna be pictures of us, just like this. This is fake content. Yeah, and our mouths just move. But right, it's, Adam, it's an AI's wow, voice. Great reaction. <laughs> Go subscribe to our Patreon. <laughs> no, I'd kill it. That's ours. Yeah. Piss off. Yeah, I mean, so I don't know. Once again, fantasy dilemma. Yeah. Do I care enough to jump into it? No. Standard politics are hard enough. Yeah. Um, Not just yet. I would like to jump into that stuff, though. I want to see the District 11 stuff. That seems really exciting. I don't know why I'm very interested in this Amon guy. I think it's because he kind of came out of nowhere. He was kind of just like the silent wingman of the other dude. Motto. (laughs) And I'm on board. If he's going to the dark, <laughs> the, the, if he's going to the crazy place, so am I. I want to go see that. Yeah, I, I feel a little bit bad because Kadi he's not the most exciting protagonist. That's not a bad thing for a show because it's okay to have a, the main character you follow and then still have compelling other characters. So I don't think it's the, a horrible thing, but I, I'm definitely not as interested in Kaneki as I am some of the other characters. Like even Toka is more enjoyable, mm-hmm. just because like it's it. This is. I don't know if it's a beef yet, because I haven't seen a lot of Kaneki in his past, but it's a bit like Tanjiro, where he's already really nice of a guy, Mm -hmm. so I wonder how much room there is to grow. And now that he's got this pretty creepy mask, I wonder if he will take a dark turn, and like we'll have to start from like a a darker area. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. 
I might get thrown for a loop. We'll see. But like that was my concern with Tandro. Is sometimes I'm not overly fond of heroes that are like pretty clean slate. Like Toka is a better build for growing. So is Nisha Keith. Like I was pretty like surprised by that turn with his heart and his like this love for his uh, girlfriend. I was like, okay, okay, I like that. Amon has like a uh, a goal, and I think I think that's why I drive towards Toka and Amon the most right now. Because this episode set their arc yeah. up, mm -hmm. their their where their heart is, the problems they currently face, and now kind of a goal that they have to achieve. Where Kanaki's is like, I'm gonna do my best to be a good friend. Yeah, which is okay. That's a good. That's a good. Yeah, that's good on you. That's a good quality. morality to have. Yeah. Good quality to have. It's not the most exciting thing no. to want to pursue for this story purpose, um, and that's where a lot of the characters kind of supersede him in that. <clears throat> But that's okay. Main characters can take a back seat. That happens all the time. Um, maybe I'll be deceived. Now that he's getting a mask himself, it looks like he might follow Toka. Because it looks like Toka's going deep. She got seen in the waterways. Mado is already on that. And he's trying to figure out what her connection is to uh, 7545, which is little Hinami. Hinami. Between Hanami, uh, freaking... All the chainsaw cast, all the JJK cast. That why we have to have another Hinami over top <laughs> of Hanami and what's the other one? Um, Nanami. Yeah. Dear Lord, dude. Uh, and then Chelsea's grin. What is that? Chelsea grin or whatever. The torture. The chainsaw man guy who plays both of those, which I also just think is oh, the third Hanami. Yeah, I, I can't Nanami. remember names. So it just doesn't help when some names cross over. Damn. Yeah. Where is it, Dan? Or Denji was unique. You can't forget that one. Kaneki. I'm trying to think of like Ka well, the Ka I didn't, Ken. That's why, that's why I wasn't complaining. Like yeah. Ka here's the good names that I've like. I've nailed the names for the show because a lot of them are good, except for the one I just complained about with ha uh, Hinami. Because Toka's unique. Uh, uh, Sukuyama, Kaneki, Jason. Uh, Ma Mado, even though I can't pronounce it, I feel like I have to put an N because I follow a guy on YouTube named Mondo. Uh, Amon. What is Amon an acronym for? Because I've been saying that multiple times. And I'm like, what is that an acronym for that I'm familiar with? Age of Middle Earth? No. Something. I'll have to remember. But what else happened in this episode, Adam? i trying to remember. District 11. Crap is going down. He got his mask, so maybe this will be where he starts to get into the deep section of his character. He might have to face some dilemmas, considering he's backing his vigilante friend who's doing her own thing. Because, like, her... Alfred was just like, no, she faces the... She's she's a, an adult. <clears throat> I mean, she's not, but she she's going to face the consequences of what she chooses, because I gave advice. She right. didn't listen to it. That's fine that she didn't, but she's also not going to get the benefits that would have been given had she listened mm -hmm. uh because it's like and that's that's a fair way i mean that's fair i wouldn't complain it's always kind of nice to still want to be loving like kaneki even despite that but that's kaneki's choice that's why kaneki's there to yeah. still provide even when she kind of turns her back on the advice given so he is a good friend just like Hide, who is taking a major back seat in the show <laughs> rip um even uh, is it Nishiki? Mm -hmm. Nishiki's girlfriend has played a bigger role, which I didn't think would be a thing, because she just looks like a normal human, not as interesting as all blonde, orange outfit. Yeah. So I, did, I would like some more Hide, Hide as well. I wanted to bring something up from one of our previous discussions. Yeah. Um, I was editing episode three, Supper, and I was getting uh, frustrated with you because... Sorry. No, 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 no. And it's quite okay. And I, as it went through, it's, it's, I started to understand where you're coming from. It was when, we, when they said, you need a mask. <clears throat> right? So then Kaneki was getting a mask. And you were like, right. what's the point of having a mask? And I'm sitting there editing like, it's the highest fucking identity, you, you know? But then, but then later on, it's like, go out, go, you go out constantly with that mask. Now people are going to start to recognize you with the mask. Or they're just going to recognize the mask. Or, so that's where or, I'm like, it doesn't make sense anymore to me. 
But, like, also, what are you doing that matters if you wear a mask or not? Is, right. it, is it that you're scared to be caught with the, somebody who's doing something bad and now you have they've seen your face and now they're going to associate you as somebody who needs right. to be hunted? I also just didn't, like... I guess it was more like the Superman thing. Like, why does he need to hide? Like, who's trying to stop him? Is it is it more of, like... it's That's the, for his... Like, yeah, Superman's a little different, so it's not, family, it's not, not a great analogy, Lois Lane. to be honest. But it, it, I guess where I fall with that is like Twilight. Any person that's actually going to see Edward Cullen do something Edward Cullen-y is not surviving. Yeah. And that's why he's so, he puts on the presentation of just being a normal dude. Because no one's going to look for a normal dude among people. Well, see, with Tokyo Ghoul... I'm it's just, different because they, they can find you a scent and other things. So it's a little harder in Tokyo Ghoul. Well, I mean, just imagine if... See, it's, it's, it's so just weird and confusing, because Toka attacked CCG members with a rabbit mask. mask. Right. So now they're going to look for a rabbit mask. Right. But just imagine if Toka attacked them without the mask. They're going to look for Toka. You right. know? That's, right. Where I, that's where I started to understand you. It's like, it actually doesn't make sense that they wear masks. I mean, well, no, I, in that respect, it... It, 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 once again, it's situational. It's situational because she's fighting people that have the chance of surviving. In my mind, where it didn't make sense and why I brought up the uselessness is, in my mind, I felt like we were just going to be killing people. Mm-hmm. So if you're killing people, there's no witnesses already. So it doesn't matter. And it was also the point of like one, like the whole reporting thing. Because in my mind, these people already live in like hidden society. So if, if Kaneki gets found, then he just goes into hiding. He's got special powers. Like... It's almost, uh, maybe in my mind, if I was a super a superhero, and I had the ability to fly away, it's like, okay, well, good luck getting me. Yeah. You see my face, okay, good luck trying to find me. I can go and make my new home. I can Uber myself by a flight to any other country and start living however I want. Yeah. So maybe it's more just, like, the superiority of how I'm feeling about them towards, like, the uselessness, uselessness of a mask. Like, if you're Spider-Man, and you crave to be in the public scene and have a sense of normalcy, then I get it. So if Kaneki wants to roam around and go to his Barnes & Noble, sure, mm-hmm. wear a mask if you're going to be ghouling it out. Yeah. So I guess it's just, it's it's situational and person-to-person basis for why my confusion exists. So to be honest, I don't remember what the original confusion was and who I was, I guess it was for Kaneki initially. Mm-hmm. But, but perhaps it was because I just didn't think Kaneki was going to be doing a lot of hero work. Well, he's, a, he's a barista. In that, well, in that episode, they went to get their masks, and then after they, they got their measurements, Kanki was like, so why'd we go do that? And then you never got an answer for it. Yeah. yeah so I, I started to understand where you were coming from. But it's also just the group there, but it doesn't seem like they're very active in taking part in the ghoul section. Also, if one of them gets found, I feel like it's just, a, it, it's over. Because they all lead back to this, a group of ghouls. Because they hang out very obviously all together. No mm-hmm. one's doing any like hidden solo work. Well, then I was also just separated. thinking, you know, what if Yomo and Kaneki go go looking for their their suicide uh, victims, and their CCG members there, like, oh, what are you doing here? Then then they kill them, you know, and now more CCG is gonna come looking for them, they now have masks on, you know? But then... I don't know. It's just but, but how would other CCG right. know what they look like if every witness was killed that was present? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. What is the purpose of any of it if they just are going to kill the witnesses? And I guess it comes down to maybe these guys don't want to kill the witnesses, which is why they need the mask. Because they're trying to be... Not ghouly. Not ghouly. So that that's probably the ultimate answer. Yeah. Um, I guess I just didn't know if it, what route it was going to be. Um, yeah, yeah, I've seen this show. It's been a while, dog. It's been a while. It's been a while. It's so good. That was a great episode. I'm happy. Guys. Um, oh, then I forget. No, hit me. Hit nah. me. Okay, never mind. Curveball. Guys, make sure you leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you've not already done so. Leave a comment down below your thoughts on this episode. What's your favorite moment? What characters were you most hyped for between Toka and Amon when this episode dropped the first time you saw it? And we'll see you in the next episode. Punch it. Going to District 11. See ya.